just going to say this, that everything that I'm about to say is linked in the box below or it's in any of my previous videos that I've posted on YouTube on this subject. Um, I don't have anything against Max Hauser personally since I don't know him. I did recently walk past him after somebody pointed him out to me. I actually let him walk across my uh, path. And uh, this isn't necessarily directed at him, but more so directed at the sheriff of uh, Monterey County. There's been a great deal of speculation among those in law enforcement, especially at the sheriff's department, in regards to uh, Max Hauser and him being possibly the uh, person that was in the National Geographic video that came out, um, their series Drug Inc. The particular episode aired in January of 2011, shortly after Mr. Hauser had been hired by Scott Miller with the uh, Monterey County Sheriff's Department. Um, Mr. Hauser's history goes back to Salinas PD where he worked with Sheriff Miller and then I believe it was in 87 he went to work for the California Department of Justice B&E. In 1988 he was involved just like it shows in the uh, National Geographic video. Um, a bust of a lab in Mountain View, California where William Leonard Picard was arrested and found to be in possession and manufacturing of gallons of LSD. Um, Mr. Picard, according to the story here in the Rolling Stone and uh, Peter Wilkinson's story called uh, The Acid King, had warned the agents not to enter the lab because of the dangers to themselves. Um, and apparently Mr. Picard, who's the expert in by some reports from other agents at the scene. He's an excellent chemist um, that doesn't take away from the fact that he was doing something unlawful. I'll leave my personal opinions on uh, drug use out of this, but uh, Mr. Hauser went against the uh, advice of the expert and he then exposed himself and he absorbed, as it shows in the video, and as it will explain in this story, which I'll also link, that he was exposed to about 1,000 doses or 1,000 hits of LSD. The dosage that Max Hauser received almost killed him if it uh, hadn't have been for a nurse putting him on uh, IV Valium he would have died. Um, I can't find anybody else that's ever been exposed to that much LSD in one shot and when I've talked to people about uh, large doses that someone would do, they don't come anywhere near 1,000 hits of LSD. You can imagine that could uh, be quite a bit. But uh, it does say that he still has lasting brain damage in the video. So my question is, um, what's the nature of that brain damage? Is there a risk to public safety? Because we're in this era now of... Uh, people with uh, psychiatric problems running around with guns shooting people and then people after the fact ask how did we let this happen? Well how do you let a guy take a firearm and a badge go out in a patrol car and pull people over and not recognize that there's a potential for him to have a flashback and have a mental breakdown at any time? Um, I'll link some of the side effects and things such as depression that go along with LSD use but uh, how do you allow that to happen but then you look at Miller's history and he allowed his son to live in his house to the point where he was selling narcotics out of his house after he'd been busted twice before when he was still living at home at 25 selling dope out of daddy's house while his dad was running for sheriff no less you have a um, advisor at the sheriff's department, uh, Jim Colangelo, who had and was on probation for DUI. And the sheriff actually had to taxi him around because the guy didn't have his license. Apparently, Jim's son is uh, trying to apply for a job as a deputy, and he's got a DUI on his record, too. Um, Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I've talked to other people that have tried to get a job for, with Sheriff Miller that um, nine, ten years ago had a DUI when they first turned 21, but since then they've gone on to school and, you know, 
kept their nose clean, but uh, they were turned down, turned away because they had a DUI on their record. So I think that everybody out there that's ever tried to apply for a job in law enforcement, the Monterey County Sheriff's Department, if you've uh, you know hit the hash pipe, um, snorted crank off of a stripper's ass, um, you know whatever, you know, shot some heroin up, anything like that, you should just go down and apply for a job because if you don't get hired and you take the stories that I have linked in the box below, you could probably find yourself a pretty fancy lawyer to uh, go and sue the hell out of the county. And speaking of suing the county, I've already notified county council of all this, and I linked them to the story. I talked to them for quite a while. Um, they weren't too thrilled with the idea of me standing out with a sign explaining all of this in front of the DA's office, and they preferred that I not do that. But uh, I'm willing to do that, not necessarily for me, not because I dislike Sheriff Miller as much as I do, just because of the kind of person that he is. But uh, for all the guys that had clean records, that had put in so much time into the county and devoted their life to a job that they loved, that have been either bullied out of their position, that are no longer here, or lies have been told about them and they're no longer working for the county. Um, they've lost their jobs or they've been terminated for essential bullshit. Um, because of Sheriff Miller's personal vendetta for anybody that he doesn't like. Um, remember the guy when he first ran for office and uh, KSBW interviewed him, he quoted uh, the uh, book um, the Team of Rivals, which was about Lincoln, written by Doris Kearns Goodwin, and talked about how Lincoln had people of varying uh, ideas and ideals and some of his actual political enemies working for him in the uh, White House as part of his administration. What happened to that Sheriff Miller? Did you uh, forget about it? But uh, now we have the story. I have the Rolling Stone article. I have the magazine. I have the text of it. Um, so the uh, County lawyer is going to allow a man to drive around without checking out his uh, his background to see if he's uh, mentally fit for duty because the Department of Justice medically retired him. And they retired him just after Mr. Wilkinson had gone to them, just before this story came out they retired him. I don't know why they waited for 12 years. Maybe Bob Cook can answer that question since he worked at BNE at the time and he's a friend of Max Hauser's from back in those days. But uh, Sheriff Miller hired him too. So there's another one we need to figure out. It's starting starting to sound like a conspiracy. Anyways, um, people like uh, Dan Mitchell seem to idolize Hauser because he uh, infiltrated the uh, Hells Angels. The Hells Angels didn't have anything to do with this. There was nothing in, nothing in regards to them in this story. This was an acid trip. This wasn't a meth tweaker trip. Um, and if he uh, infiltrated the Hells Angels, good. You know, he did his job. That's what he was paid to do. Um, in the long run, what did it solve? I don't know. But. Uh, you got a guy working in the county who has brain damage, who's carrying a firearm, who represents a potential risk to other human beings. So what are you going to do about it?